youngest bard at the Bard's College, at your service. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Came it was one of the city monks. Good to see you. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. I don't see any reason why. Of course. As long as those dogs stay outside of our borders, it's fine. See you. The Stormcloaks are far from the only threat to the hold. The roads are beset by bandits and beasts. And now I there's even talk of unnatural bloody magics dragons. Are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell oh. Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Steward, I will need the following. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragonbridge. I've done my part. Dragonbridge will have extra guards. Folk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. Until next time. Yes, and I'm also aware of how necessary my divinations and wards have been in the city's defense. It's always good to see someone I can count on. Been up to the Blue Palace? Please address all questions to the even if it is filled Firebeard. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. And if you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Because her husband died. She'll be because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric sure coveted the High King's Torek. throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torek. And so he came before my husband and now he, he shouted with that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow, now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? <clears throat> oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Well, if you insist...
If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard. You've done well. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Do you have business with the court? Oh, right, the rum. Thank you. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. Here, this is for you. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights... I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You'd do well to remember that. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open...